Hello everyone and welcome back to the new lesson of our course. In this video, we will be installing WordPress CMS. As you can see, we are in our client area, which is the cPanel. And if you don't know how to come here, you can watch the previous videos or here's your hosting. You will see an option like access cPanel here. You have to click on it and then it will ask you for your main master password. You have to enter it and then you will be redirected to your cPanel. And now let's move ahead and install WordPress on your website. As you can see, here are many tabs, files, jet backup, databases, SEO and marketing tools, domains, email, metrics, security and software. You have to come to this software tab and then you have to go to Softaculous apps installer. After clicking on it, it will load for a while. After loading, you will see the top script option where you will see WordPress at first. You have to click on install here. After clicking on install, you will see an interface like this. So as our site does not have an SSL right now, we'll choose HTTP. If it already has an SSL, you have to choose HTTPS. So I'll choose HTTP right now. And here you can see our domain bestamazingsales.com. And here in directory, you have to just remove this. Okay, after removing it, you have to give a site name and description to your website. So let me just make a title and description for my website. Best amazing sales. Get the best deals, offers and coupons for products online. So this is a description for my website. You can have any description which you would like. And after that, you will see admin username and password. So this will be used whenever you will be logging to your WordPress dashboard. So for right now, I'll just leave it to be admin and the password to be pass. So after it, you'll see the admin email, which you can change like admin at the rate bestamazingsales.com or you can say like head at the rate bestamazingsales.com or you can say owner. So you have many options to choose from. I'll just leave it to be owner and then move ahead. If your primary language is English on which you will be making your website, choose it to be English and it is set as English by default too. So here you don't have to touch anything and you have to just scroll down and you have to click on install. As you can see, it will take Three, four minutes to uh, install WordPress on your domain and after that bingo you have installed WordPress on your website so you will see that WordPress has been successfully installed at bestamazingsales.com and then you will see the administrative URL so this will be the URL from which you log in to your WordPress dashboard so you have to click here and after loading for a while you will see your WordPress dashboard. Okay, so in the next video I'll explain you the interface and some basic settings that you should do if you have a WordPress website. 